Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn about the Hutchinson classification. Hutchinson classification was classified by T. John Hutchinson. He was a British botanist associated with the Royal Botanical Garden. Hutchinson divided phylum Angiosperme into two subphylums Dicotyledone and Monocotyledone. The subphylum Dicotyledone is divided into two divisions that is Lignosae and Herbaceae. The Lignosae includes 54 orders and Herbaceae includes 27 orders. The another subphylum Monocotyledone is divided into three divisions that is Caliciferae, Coroliferae and Glumiferae. Caliciferae includes 12 orders, Coroliferae includes 14 orders and Glumiferae includes the three orders. Hutchinson system of classification is based on the 24 principles as follows. And the first one is evolution is both upwards and downwards. What is evolution? The development of the living organism from the history, the changes. Proceeding to the second point, evolution does not necessarily involve all organs at the same time. Point 3. Generally, the evolution has been consistent. Simply does not contain any logical contradictions. Point 4. Broadly, shrubs and trees are more primitive than herbs in one genus or family. What are herbs? Herbs are the grasses. And what are the shrubs? Shrubs are the rose plant and orange plant. And what are the trees? Penion tree, neem tree. Okay, shrubs and trees are more primitive than herbs. What it means? Shrubs and the trees are more basic, very older than the herbs. And herbs are advanced when compared to shrubs and the trees. Point 5. Comparison with climbers, shrubs and trees are older in one genus or family. What are climbers? Climbers has vines. For example, cucumber plant is a climber. Climbers are advanced than shrubs and trees. Point 6. Perennials are older than annuals and biennials. Perennials are the plants which have the life cycle more than three years and annuals are the plants which have the lifespan of one year and the biennials are the plants which have the lifespan of two years point seven aquatic flowering plants are derived from terrestrial ancestors point eight dicots are primitive when compared to monocots dicots are very older when compared to monocots what are the dicots dicots which when the seed is sown the dicots grows two cotyledons and monocots grow only one cotyledon point nine spiral arrangement of vegetative and floral leaves is primitive to cyclic arrangement in spiral arrangement the leaves are arranged alternately one after one in cyclic arrangement, the leaves are in cluster at one node. Point 10. Usually simple leaves are more primitive than compound leaves. What are the simple leaves? Simple leaves are broad. For example, guava leaf. And in compound leaf, we can take the example of neem and rose plant leaves. Point 11. Bisexual flowers are less advanced than unisexual flowers. What does it mean, bisexual flowers? The flowers which possess stamens and carpel within the same inflorescence are the bisexual flowers. Here we can take the example of the tomato flower. And unisexual flowers are those either it is staminate or carpellate. In the image, you can easily see the male and female flirts of cucumber. And next, dioecious plants are more recent than monoecious plants. Dioecious plants are those which have the 
male and female flowers on the different plants on the separate plants male flower is in the one plant and the female flower is on the other plant we can take the example of the date palm male and female flower for dioecious plant and we're coming to the monoecious plant the male and female flower present on the one single plant for example maize plant point 12 inflorescence is more advanced than solitary flowers inflorescence is nothing but the arrangement of flower point 13 types of estivations are evolved from contorted to imbricate to valvate you can see in the image the types of estivations Point 14. Polymerous flowers precede oligomerous flowers. Polymerous flowers are which have more than three or more sepals and petals, and oligomerous flowers have few sepals and petals. Point 15. A petalous flowers are derived from flowers with petals. Point 16. Polypetaly is more primitive than gamopetaly. What is polypetaly? Petals are free with each other, for example, rose. And what is gamopetaly? Petals are fused fully or partially with each other. And here we can take the example of the datura flower. You can see in the image beside. Point 17. In comparison to zygomorphy, actinomorphy is more primitive. What is Zygomorphy The floor which divides two equal parts in one plane. And what is actinomorphy? The floor which divides into the two equal parts along any diameter. We can see the image on the screen. Point 18. Hypogyny is more primitive than perigyny. The most advanced condition is Epigyny. You can see on the screen the hypogynous floor and perigynous floor and epigynous floor. In hypogyny, the sepals, petals, stamens attach below the ovary. Example, we can take care of the tomato. In perigyny, sepals, petals, and stamen fuse at base. Here we can take the example of the cherry. And in the epigyny, the sepals, petals, stamen arise from the top of ovary. Here is the, we can take the example of the daffodil. Point 19. Apocarpy is primitive than syncarpy. In apocarpy, flowers have more than one carpal, but they are free. For example, lotus and rose flowers. In syncarpy, the carpels are fused. Example, tomato and mango. Point 20. Polycarpillary condition precedes the condition of few carpels. In polycarpillary, two or more carpels are present, which later fused. Point 21. Endospermic seeds with a small embryo are Primitive to non-endospermic one with a large embryo. Castor bean is the example for the endospermic seeds. And bean seeds and the gram seeds are the example for the non-endospermic seeds. Non-endospermic seeds with, in which the seed endosperm is absorbed by the cotyledon and swollen. Point 22. Flowers with many stamens are primitive to flowers with few stamens. Point 23. Plants with separate anthers are primitive compared to those with fused anthers or filaments. Point 24. Aggregate fruits are more highly evolved than single fruits. You can see on the screen of the image of the simple fruit and the aggregate fruit. In simple fruit, the fruit is derived from only one ovary. Hope you guys understood the Hutchinson classification. How was the lecture? Just drop your views in the comment section.
If you found this video helpful, do like, share and subscribe to the channel.